hey guys what's up it's amanda welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video so today is another monthly budget um i feel like i just filmed my june budget like a week ago how is it already july what the heck time is moving by so quickly uh if you haven't ever been here before hello my name is amanda i am a 24 almost 25 my birthday is in july um i'm a nurse um i currently work night shift um i have about ninety three thousand dollars of student loan debt but that started way higher i also recently paid off my car this year um so yeah that's a little bit about me um I do monthly budgets videos over here. I also do other random finance videos occasionally. Um, this month I'm actually planning on doing like a whole in-depth video about our wedding budget. I'm actually getting married in August. So I will go dive deep into that and how we planned out, how we're paying for it, all the fun stuff. So yeah, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss all those fun videos that are coming. You don't miss my monthly budget. With that being said, let's hop on into the video what i do here is i always go over my previous month i talk about what went well what didn't go well um i kind of even things out so if i got paid more than i thought i would or i spent less on something i even it all out so that i can have a number left over that i'll move on to my next month so um, I use the every dollar app. It's by Dave Ramsey. Um, I think it's super easy um, I don't have the premium ver premium version or anything. I just plug in all my numbers every week um, And I think it holds me more accountable because I have to actually pay attention to it And yeah, so let's get into June and see how that month went so June overall pretty good month um i don't think i went over budget on anything besides getting my apple watch but i'll be paying for that with my july money if that makes sense so i'll show you that in a little bit yeah let's go through it all right so first we will just even everything out i was pretty close i'm guessing my paychecks this this month good job amanda Oh, so one thing um, that happened this month was that I started working at the daycare again. Um, so if you didn't know, I had a second job at a daycare that I worked uh, through my last year of college while I was in nursing school. Um, and then uh, through like my first year of working as a nurse, um, when the pandemic happened i took a break from working there just because i didn't want to like um spread my germs and kind of made me super anxious so i haven't worked there in almost a year now but the other day she reached out to me she said hey i could really use just like a few hours from you every week if you're able to so we're able to make up a schedule where i basically work every other monday in the afternoon so like four hours every other week um and i don't make amazing money there but i really enjoy it and it's a little extra income not as much as it could be but that's okay so this month i made 80 dollars working there which every little bit counts all right so nothing crazy with that um if you don't remember last month i decided to not make a down payment payment um and we actually paid for our honeymoon. I don't know if I said that. So on, I think it was June 1st, um, they had this like promo going with the place we were planning on staying. So we kind of just bit the bullet and used some of my down payment um, savings and some of Alex's savings that weren't necessarily for the honeymoon. Um, and then obviously this 250 that I have here. So we paid for that. So in the next month, you'll see, I will not be putting any money towards there. Um, because I had saved my half and Alex was working on saving his half and we just had to dip into our down payment uh, a little bit. So um, for a wedding, you'll hear about this, we have like uh, cash funds that people can donate to, not donate to, give us money to um, instead of just like giving us cash. And one of those is the honeymoon. So that will kind of replenish our down payment fund as well. Joint account is the same, uh, gas is good nothing crazy with bills um my miscellaneous 
you guys i hit it on the head like exactly to the penny it was insane um i think i had like 60 something dollars left to spend and if you don't know it's amazon prime day which just happened um and i found these sports bras that i really really liked um and so i bought them and it was like literally to the penny how much i had left in my budget so i was like okay this is clearly meant to be i'm supposed to get this um and then for uh plan of fitness um and then i have my loan payments that we did there so my minimum payment for sofi and then an extra payment as well so that gives me 250 dollars left to budget which is amazing that is more than i've had in a while so let's make our july budget all right so first we will do our june rollover um and that'll be 250.82 adsense i am getting like a ton from adsense this month let me let me look at where we're at right now Okay, so I'm already at $118, um, and that's excluding um, two days of payment. So I'm just going to do $120 because I think I'm going to hit it. Um, for the daycare, I'm not working this next Monday. So I only have one day there, so we'll just do $40. Bucks. And... I can't spell and July is a three paycheck month which is perfect because it's my birthday month so I don't think I have any extra hours in the month so we're just gonna do 1800 for all of them and I love to see it it's so great that is amazing okay so I think that is it for my paychecks for the month um I don't have any extra hours that I'm working just because life's been crazy with wedding planning and everything. Um, we can remove our honeymoon fund. I can also remove our wedding fund. I don't know why that's still there. Cause we've already finished saving for there for that. Um, I'm gonna go through the things that I have to pay for first and then we will plan out everything else. So joint account, um, if you don't know, me and Alex have a joint banking account that we both put uh, $1,100 in every month that pays for our rent, our groceries, our phone bill, going out to eat, utilities, all that stuff. So that's that. That just kind of comes out of my paycheck. I don't really pay attention to it. Super nice. Um, so I have been paying, I'm using my credit card to pay for gas. Number one, because I don't want the account to close if I don't use it, um, cause it had been like a year since I'd used it. And the amount that I spend on gas varies so much every month that I think it's just easier if I like back pay it using my credit card. Cause like, for example, this month was $128, but this last month was $128, but this month is only 70 bucks. So easy enough, a lot different. Um, and then all of that pay is the same. iCloud, Spotify, blah, blah, blah. Um, miscellaneous 350 let's do 300 we should be okay with that and then i also need to put in my apple watch which i already paid for i don't remember how much it was though i think it was like 200 okay it was 300 300 dollars for my apple watch um which we already paid for so i'll just stick that in um okay planet fitness stays the same my minimum payment on my student loan pays the same and that gives me two thousand five hundred eighty seven dollars left to split between my um loan extra and then saving for the down payment hmm let me check with my uh supervisor hey alex I have an important financial question. Sure. Okay. So, this is how much money I have left to budget for the month. Oh. Uh-huh. That's after my things that I have to pay for. Do I put it all 
towards an extra put loan payment? Do I put some towards a down payment and then some towards a loan payment? I'm thinking like, what do you think? What if we do 500? I'm just saying, is it worth it for me to put that there or should I just put it all towards my debt? What do you think? What would you do? Um, I think it's good to put a little bit down. Because I didn't put anything in my down payment payment. Well, uh, how much can you normally put in for the down payment? Well, I've been doing... Because since this month is... I had been doing like 250 I didn't do any okay, last so month this, though. Okay, and this month is kind of extra since you're working, getting another paycheck. Yeah. Yeah, I think 500 is fine. And then an extra $2,000 loan payment. Mm -hmm. I think I'll be under 90 k must feel good. <sighs> yeah. And that's with three hundred dollars of miscellaneous. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you, financial advisor. Pleasure to call me Dave. With you. <laughs> oh no, F Dave. Dave would tell me to put it all towards a extra payment. <laughs> yeah, I know he would. <laughs> okay, so. Yeah, we figured out what we're doing. So if you didn't hear, we decide, I decided to put $500 towards my down payment and then put the rest towards my student loan. And I'm like, I'm pretty sure that I'll be very, very close to being under $90,000 at the end of the month. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because my student loan currently is $93,626, so I'll be barely under there. But that's still super exciting! So, um, that is my budget for the month. Um, stay tuned for a video coming later in the month where I talk super, super in-depth wedding budget. Um, I have been like super, super organized and anal about my wedding budget and I like have such a good like system that's been working for me. So I'm really excited to share that with you guys. That is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe so you don't miss all the fun videos that are coming. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.